Hello, my YouTubers. I hope that you guys are doing fine. If you are new to my channel, my name is BB and I'm a software engineer who, who likes to teach a little bit about Windows deployments, uh, Windows patches, uh, if you are having any problems with Windows and how to deploy Windows in the enterprise environment. If you are new to my channel, uh, welcome. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you for uh, tuning in again. In this video, uh, actually, I'll, I'll just take it just a little bit back. Uh, I created uh, one uh, whole series regarding SCCM 2016. And when I was trying to download and import the Windows 10 Enterprise version, I had a VLSC. So that's where I was able to download uh, Windows 10 Enterprise very easily. But I got so many questions from the viewers uh, saying that, where can they download enterprise version if they don't have any kind of access to volume licensing services, uh, service center, volume licensing service center, that is by the uh, Microsoft. Uh, how can they get ha hold on to Windows 10 enterprise version? So I decided why not put a, a video out where if you don't have access to it and how you could uh, uh, download uh, Windows 10 Enterprise. So this video is all about that. I will show you how and where you could uh, download uh, Windows 10 Enterprise, even if you don't have uh, access to VLSC. And then I'm going to show you where you could go and find Windows 10 Enterprise KMS Evaluation Key. But keep in mind, this is Evaluation Key. Once you, this is uh, just for your lab, you could uh, uh, use Windows 10 uh, enterprise in your lab for as long as whatever the evaluation time allows. After that, obviously, it's not going to work. So this is good for the lab environment. It does work usually the way I do it. it you could rearm re uh, that KMS. So you could pretty much use it for, I would say, give or take about one time is six months. And then after six months, 18 months or so, you could kind of uh, do it. But again, I'm not a licensed professional. I don't know too much about the licensing. So you might want to check that. It is evaluation version. And then finally, uh, if, if you are just here uh, for Windows 10 Enterprise, it would be an ISO file that would be given to you, basically once you are done with this video. And then uh, you could use a KMS uh, evaluation key and you would be good to go. But if you are learning to deploy, once you are going to download that ISO, it would still not have a file install.vim. Instead of that, uh, install.vim is going to have install.esd. So you will need to stick around so that I can show you where and how you could uh, basically uh, convert uh, install.vim, I mean install.esd to install.vim. So let's get started. So uh, just launch uh, internet uh, browser, any of uh, internet uh, browser, go to google.com and then type Windows Media Creation Tool 19 or 9. Press enter, obviously search for it and look for uh, Microsoft uh, results, uh, microsoft.com uh, software download. I will also include this link uh, in the description of this video too so that you don't have to really go search for it. You could just copy and paste it in your browser and that should work. Once you are there, just simply click download tool. I have already downloaded the tool, which uh, I have saved it in one of the folder, which I'm gonna show you right now. I have created a separate folder for this purpose uh, in my C drive, and uh, which is uh, bbtech-temp, uh, and I downloaded and saved that uh, executable, which is uh, going to be media creation tool 1909.exe, and I just saved it there. I have also went ahead and created a another subfolder within BBTech uh, tab folder. That's where I would save my ISO file. And I, I for my own purpose, I have uh, named that folder as Windows uh, 10 1909 ISO. So once you have uh, the ISO downloaded, then you could just, uh, I'm going to minimize this, open uh, uh, PowerShell. Uh, you could just uh, click on the search and just start typing power and then you should see the option for PowerShell. Uh, I'm going to run uh, this right click and run as an admin. That's my PowerShell command window. 
And what I'll do, I, I just need to basically run this uh, uh, media creation tool, 1909 executable, with some parameters to it. So I'm just going to copy the path to it. Right click and uh, paste right there. And then um, oh, media creation, that's the path. And the parameters that you need to pass to it, uh, I just have the command line uh, typed in. Uh, so it's going to be, come on, copy it, please. So it's uh, the full path to the executable space slash EULA space except uh, this is basically whenever the license pops up you are passing a silent command to it like hey just check that one and then slash media language code space and that's where uh, the language uh, the one that you are going to go and grab that iso for in my case is em-us which is english us you if, if you have a different language then you would need to find out which language that you are trying to to download uh, if, if if you are with uh, good with English, then this this should be exact command for you. Uh, slash retail space slash media arc, which is uh, for our architecture. Uh, I am interested in uh, sixty four bit, and let's say if you are trying to download uh, thirty two bit, then instead of uh, x sixty four, you will need to do x eighty six. Then do space. Obviously, a slash uh, media edition, that's enterprise. I'm just going to press enter. And this should launch uh, Windows Media uh, Tool Creation, uh, Windows Media Creation Tool. It just goes and checks uh, a few things. The very first prompt that you are going to see that is asking you to enter the product key. So go back onto your um, uh, choice of um, uh, internet, I mean, uh, of browser. I'm going to go to google.com again and type in Windows 10 KMS key. And Microsoft does provide you this key. In, and I'm going to include this uh, link in your, uh, uh, in the description of this video too. So you could just grab it from there. So this is the link for it. Uh, I'm just going to go and now look for the KMS key for Windows uh, Windows uh, 10 Enterprise, which is right here. Just simply copy and paste it. Windows 10 Enterprise. And copy it. I'm going to minimize this and then populate it right here. Click Next. Uh, you don't want to upgrade this PC now. Oh, I will create uh, installation media. Click Next. And now either you could burn it on CD, uh, I mean the USB, or you could download it as ISO. I am interested in downloading it is in ISO. So I'm gonna click next. And then it will ask you, where do you want to, to put this file? So uh, I have already uh, created the folder, which I had kind of mentioned to you at the beginning of this video. Uh, C, ABB Tech, uh, temp, Windows 10, ISO. So that's what I'm gonna call it too. Windows 10, the underscore, Enterprise 1909 and then save it. So this should go uh, on uh, the internet and start downloading uh, the ISO file. It's about 3.9 gig. So depending on your internet speed, it can take, depends, I mean, wherever, it, wherever you are and how fast your internet is. For me, it should take about uh, three to five minutes. So I'm just gonna pause it and as soon as it's downloaded, I'm just going to come back again. So while this one is doing, I'm not going to uh, complete this because I have already downloaded it. All you're going to do is it's going to show over here, close or finish once it's completely 100% done. So I'm not going to waste more of my time and your time on this. So I'm just going to close it here and I'm going to show you uh, that ISO is already done. So as you could see, the ISO is downloaded. What I'm going to do is just, if you double click on it, it should mount it. If you are using Windows 10, if you are, I think if you are uh, using Windows 7, you probably have to manually mount it. I don't recall. I'm sorry, but everybody should have Windows 10 by now. So just double click on it and this would mount it as 
E for me. I mean, it, it looks for another available drive. So uh, since D, I have another something else on it. So uh, it is mounted. And uh, what I am interested right now is in if I if you click on sources and go in and look at the install. That's that's the actual uh, file. But if you look at it, the the extension of this file is install.esd. You are not able, you will not be able to deploy this file if you want to deploy it because the the file that is needed is install.wim. And for those of you who were just uh, who just came to this video and they just wanted only Windows 10 Enterprise and wanted to play with it, you are good to go. Just simply take this ISO, burn it on your USB drive, and then install just like the way you would install Windows 10. Uh, is so simple, straightforward. Uh, I would create probably one video down the road for home user or for just people that are starting with Windows 10 and would have some instruction on how to install Windows 10, but this is beyond uh, that. So now, um, what I need to do is I need to convert for, for the ones who are interested in uh, deploying the Windows 10. So I need to convert this uh, install.esd into um, install.win and uh, since uh, I, uh, if you don't know that there are several uh, flavors of Windows 10 Enterprise they are all in this ISO I am interested in only one which is Windows 10 Enterprise I'm not interested in Windows 10 Enterprise N version uh, there are so many like education version there are different flavors of it so I'm going to show you exactly which indexes are in this uh, uh, ESD file and I will only and only extract uh, uh, only enterprise version like a like a original enterprise version so to get that uh, the information about the uh, indexes and the way they are uh, windows is set up uh, they are called indexes different so I'm gonna use a dism command dism slash get dash uh, Vim info slash Vim file and then path to the Vim, uh, uh, path to that uh, that file which is uh, right here C I mean I'm sorry E um, it's gonna be E sources slash uh, install dot ESD so these are all uh, the versions that are in this uh, uh, install the ESD. Uh, as I was saying, there is education, uh, education and enterprise, enterprise and this one is, uh, also has Windows 10 Pro, uh, Pro N. So what I am interested in is only because all of my future videos uh, are going to be only deploying Windows 10 Enterprise. So I am only interested in this, which is index three. Uh, the reason why I want to do this because it does save a lot of space uh, if, if you have a limited space in your lab or even if you are playing in a real production environment too uh, and your enterprise is not in education and that every time whenever you are going to patch that Vim file it's going to get the patches uh, for, for the other versions too and the file gets bigger and bigger and sometimes it gets kind of crazy to manage uh, the size too. So that's why it is important to just only extract the one that you need. Don't worry about the rest of it. So next thing what I'm going to do is I would extract this index and only this Vim file out of this uh, uh, through another command line, which we is going to be also uh, dism, D-I-I-A-S-M slash export dash image slash source file, uh, which is a source image file. Same way, the way I did it earlier, um, which is uh, is on e slash sources slash install the ESD, and this is already. I mean, I have already put it there for you guys, so you don't have to to really worry about too much. This command line is there for you. And I have actually typed this one. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the rest of it. Space index uh, is actually three.
and then slash destination image file, basically where you want that file, the, the extracted file, the one that you are interested in, which is install.vim, where do you want to copy it? That's all, the, uh, it, this is the path for it. So that's why it kind of looks a little longer. That's where I want it to copy to, and then slash compress to max, and then also check the integrity of the file too. So once you are done, just click enter, Okay, sorry. So it's exporting right now. Um, and once it's done with 100%, we should see the file into C. Sorry, I had a very long day and I'm a little bit tired. BB Tech. And as you could see, the file is already created, but this uh, with a zero KB should take some time um, for it to complete to 100%. And then we would have install.vim file. And now you could take this vim file and deploy it. Next video that I would create is going to be how to create a task sequence. And this is going to be a little bit uh, more uh, advanced than the one that I did previously. If you want to look at it, a very basic task sequence and how to deploy Windows 10 through SCCM, you could look at it and uh, the link is gonna just shortly pop up here in, in the top corner of this video. You could just visit uh, that video and just look at the basic test sequence. But this future test sequence is going to be a little bit more advanced. Uh, and I will show you at the beginning of the video, what are the things that I would uh, get done in that test sequence. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope uh, that this was valuable to you. I would really appreciate if you like, comment and share the video, because I love it when I know that there are people that are interacting with my videos. Wherever you are, peace.